Support for LAist comes from Brantwood, a new residence in Pasadena's Playhouse Village with one- and two-bedroom apartment homes for active adults 65 and older, featuring concierge service and curated outings to museums and plays. Info at brantwood.com. It's Eric Galindo. I co-host Wild from LA Studios. This season on the show, you're going to hear a fictional Southeast LA rom-com, a love story for your ears. Catch Wild Season 2, I Think I'm Falling in Love, Listen wherever you get your podcasts. LAist Studios. Today on the LA Report, hotel workers hit the picket lines in a show of force in Los Angeles, angling for higher wages and better health benefits. Independence Day holiday travelers hit the roads and airports. Some tips for getting to your destination quickly and safely. The heat is on and Pasadena Humane has advice for pet owners, including when to do this. Move the pet to a cool area and pour cool water on them and then get in touch with your veterinarian immediately. Good morning, it's Monday, July 3rd. I'm Suzanne Watley and you're listening to the LA Report from LAS 89.3. Thousands of hotel workers have gone on strike after contracts between their union and 61 hotels in L.A. and Orange Counties expired early Saturday. Mark Langatan is a food runner for Intercontinental Hotels, where picket lines went up yesterday. He joined other strikers in front of the downtown location and told our How to L.A. team he lives in a cramped studio apartment with his family and can't afford a bigger place on his salary. A 2,500 apartment plus the utility and all that, we're gonna end up really, really broke. We don't know if we can buy food for our table. I have a new baby. I don't know if I can buy milk, diapers. We, we need this contract. It's not only because we want it, all of us, we need this and we deserve. The union Unite Here Local 11 aims to negotiate a higher living wage for hotel workers. Union officials said that their members earn 20 to $25 an hour. The proposed deal would be an immediate $5 an hour hike, with increases totaling $11 over three years, along with improvements in health care and retirement benefits. Last week, the union reached an agreement with the Weston Bonaventure Hotel and Suites in downtown L.A. You can read more about the strike online at laist.com. For many, summertime means travel for vacation and mosquitoes. LAist senior health reporter Jackie Fortier says there is one essential you do need to pack. Grab a bug spray because you're going to need it. The CDC are warning doctors to be on guard for malaria after at least five locally acquired cases were identified in Florida and Texas. We also recommend that travelers use mosquito repellent for up to three weeks after returning. Dr. Ayman Halai is with LA County Public Health. Although we don't have these viruses circulating in Los Angeles County, we do have the mosquito that is capable of transmitting these viruses. And so we want to reduce the risk of introducing these viruses into our local environment. Homegrown malaria isn't the only concern. European health officials announced an uptick in locally acquired cases of dengue, which is also surging in Central and South America. It's also worth wearing insect repellent locally now that West Nile is back. Climate change and increasing connections worldwide are likely the main drivers of rising disease threats. For LAist 89.3, I'm Jackie Fortier. Coming up, tips for easier traveling through LAX. Back now to the L.A. report. The Independence Day holiday weekend is making for busy airports across the country. Los Angeles International Airport spokesperson Day Levine has this suggestion for getting through security faster. You can pre-book your spot in the TSA fast lane. So this is not pre-check. This is not clear. This is a free service that you can pre-book your time so that you can get through more easily. Levine also wants to remind passengers to mind their liquids. Since it's summertime and many people are traveling with sunscreen, remember that TSA only allows liquids or aerosols up to 3.4 ounces or less in carry-on luggage and all other liquids need to go and check baggage. Planning a getaway by car for Independence Day? We'll pack plenty of snacks because it could be a long ride. LAist's Sharon McNary reports AAA estimates about 3 million Southern Californians are traveling 50 miles or more for the holiday weekend. Travel is up 4% over last year, close to the pre-pandemic high. 
Doug Shoup with the Auto Club of Southern California says the worst traffic was on Friday, but Tuesday afternoon won't be pretty either. If you must drive, he's got this tip. Leave as early as you possibly can in the day. The key is to avoid those rush hour commute times in the morning and in the afternoon when people heading to and from work are mixing with the travelers heading in and out of town. Shoup says after three years of pandemic cancellations, people are ready to see the world again. The most popular spots are Las Vegas, followed by San Diego and the Santa Barbara area. For those hitting the road, Shoup suggests doing a thorough inspection of your car's tires, battery and fluid levels. AAA predicts they'll assist more than 100,000 stranded California drivers over the holiday week, he says. For LAS 89.3, I'm Sharon McNary. It was hot in California during the weekend with excessive heat warnings continuing today for desert and mountain communities and heat advisories for other inland locations. And this is a time when pets need particular attention. Kevin McManus with the Pasadena Humane Society has these tips for your furry friend. He says it's safest to walk your dog at cooler times in the day, such as early in the morning or late in the evening. Put your hand down on the ground and make sure that it, you know, if it's too hot for your hand to sit there comfortably, it's way too hot for your dog to go for a walk at that time. He also recommends keeping pets indoors as much as possible on hot days. If your dog relies on exercise to burn off energy, try incorporating mental activities such as training or puzzles and be on the lookout for signs of heat strokes such as excessive drooling and panting, abnormal gums, vomiting or seizures. Move the pet to a cool area and pour cool water on them and then get in touch with your veterinarian immediately. I mean, that is a critical condition. And if your pup hates fireworks, try covering windows and indulging them with some calming treats, but make sure that you check with your vet before doing so. Well, just a reminder that there is this excessive heat warning in effect for parts of Los Angeles County until 8 o'clock this evening, and that includes the Antelope and Santa Clarita Valleys. Also under excessive heat warnings, the San Bernardino and Riverside County Mountains and the low desert communities in the Coachella Valley. Thank you for listening to the L.A. Report. You can read more news at LAist.com or listen live anytime on the LAist app or on the radio at 89.3 FM. The AM edition is hosted and produced by me, Suzanne Watley, with assistance from producer Tyler Wayne. Our engineer is Federico Garcia Rodriguez. Catherine Mailhouse is the director of content development. LAist's executive editor is Megan Garvey. Original music by Scott Kelly. Check back here at 4 for the PM edition. Listeners like you help make the LA Report possible. Please donate at laist.com slash join. And the L.A. Report is supported by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe quality journalism makes Southern California a better place to live. Ma. Pa. Te presento a mi novia Luna. Hola. Mucho gusto. Eric Galindo, co-host of Wild here. And this season, I'm going to tell you a fictional love story. The type of story that feels like a movie. It was inspired by my life. The woman I was dating, off and on again for a minute, comes to me and says she wants to move to Milwaukee. You're looking at the newest anchor for YWCC News, baby. I'm going to be the face of Milwaukee's leading news source. It was a road trip adventure across America. I was steeped in love and in one of the most confusing relationships of my life. This is a Southeast LA rom-com. It's the kind of fictional audio drama that forces you to confront parts of yourself. From Alias Studios, listen to Wild Season 2, I Think I'm Falling in Love. Catch the new season on NPR One, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts.